Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another morning with Proverbs. Hope you're feeling blessed this morning. For those that are new to this, this is where we share a short, too many videos sharing from the Book of Wisdom, otherwise known as the Book of Proverbs, written by the wisest king that ever lived, King Solomon, who asked God for one thing. God said to him, ask me anything, I'm going to give it to you. He never asked for more money, fame or power, the things that the world tells that we should ask for. He said, no, what I really want, God, more than anything is more of your wisdom and knowledge because I know that's what it takes to really be successful and help other people to be successful too. So that's why we have the book of Proverbs. So let's really get into this. For those taking notes, we're going to be reading from chapter 19, verse 11, and it reads this. A man's wisdom gives him patience. It is to his glory to overlook an offense. Okay, what Solomon is saying here, if, if you really want to find best in this life, and that's in relationships, You've got to overlook an offence, okay? If you're somebody who cuts down a relationship as soon as somebody does something, does something wrong to you, you'll never know anybody, okay? Because guess what? You're going to do it because none of us are perfect. I know, do you know, I've heard people, if you're around me long enough, I'm going to say something that's going to offend you. If you're wrong, around me long enough, I'm going to say something that may even hurt you, okay? If I'm around you long enough, I guarantee you I'm going to say something that you don't agree with, okay? But the question is, if you get offended easily with these things, okay, you'll never really get to know the real Denzel. What else is there to Denzel about what he just said? What else is there to Denzel apart from the thing that he thinks, okay? So sometimes you have to go be beyond the cover of the book to find out what people are really like. But sometimes, you know what we do? We get so easily offended, we stumble at the first hurdle and we don't push that relationship to really find out why did that person say that? Why did they say that? Okay, was there, were they having a bad day? Okay, whatever it may be, be patient with people. So that's what Solomon is saying here. If you're wise, you'll be patient with people. Okay, and you'll really dig deeper than what they've just said in offense. Okay, which they probably a lot of times, a lot of people who say things don't even mean it. Okay, they may just be going through a bad day. They may be going through a bad situation. Look past the offense. Don't be easily offended. Okay, get to know what's under the cover of people. And I guarantee you, it will be for your glory because you will have some solid relationships. So God bless you. And as we always say, we just hope God's gift to us is life. What we do with that life is our gift back to God to go out there and be blessed. But more importantly, be a blessing and do not be easily offended and look underneath the cover and I guarantee you will find a surprise of great people. God bless you. See you soon. Bye-bye.